so yeah i really like this i like this like this is very good like uh, stereotype they have, the tooling up. They need to start most of the episodes with things like this, because it, it's really the gear of Biker Mice that makes you, like, they're very gear-reliant. You know what I mean? Oh, look. He's sleeping. And, like, again, they're proving that, like, everything's basically a fucking wasteland, and these guys are just digging the road up for no reason. Like, they're just here causing problems. And I love that about Biker Mice. Like, the enemies are very, like, what are they? He's wearing Kamina glasses! What the fuck? Don't you miss when just people wore those casually? Because, you know, I totally remember that. Oh, dead. First fatality. That, that glass shattering effect was almost non-existent. Great one, Moto. How does he sleep with the curtains drawn anyway? Wow, Moto. Moto's just sort of dishing out the roasts. I mean, like, that's actually a decent threat for once. All this talking, they could have either stopped him from this, it's literally just stop him. They've got guns as well, trained on him, with their inner bikes. Let him carry on, talking about how he's trapped you and press a red button. And he straight up has the Resident Evil trap of spike pits, but you it takes him so long to get out to get the point, and then you see the points that most people like, I don't get it. Oh, cause yeah, and it's like, it's too much of a gap between the pun and then the reveal of the, the payoff. Oh god, the animation. Everything is just like lacking proportion or perspective. This, and you notice that every time their jets play, they always play that stinger, that guitar stinger. Why is this character? I know Carbuncle exists for a reason. How did he escape this? How did he get behind them and blow the wall behind them? That's bullshit. This is like, man, fuck this. We're gonna peace out. We trashed his house, it didn't work. <laughs> the canonization on whether or not they hate cheese changes from episode to episode. <laughs> All of them hate cheese on episode one, then it's just Vinny. Then, like in the 2006 remake, they all love cheese. Guys, you know what's better than a supervillain? A monster we can't control, who will also fail, because half of the half of the villains we brought in were also monsters. Can you name any of them? Because I fucking can't. 
he shouted so hard that, like, the most ripped guy on his team went flying. It's very interesting to see where Donald Trump got most of his presidency ideas from. It really is. Shouting at people and being an idiot. Turns out it gets you quite far. Oh, the Devil May Cry doll's coming. No! They've been busted. They clipped <laughs> through the background there. There's no translucency for a bit. He has a book. And then he won't have a book soon. Pick proportions for fucking Grease Pit. Oh, too late, he's got fucking telefragged. Fuck's sake, Grease Pit, put a shirt on and take a shower. Oh, did you see the drawing that they're doing on the detailing for this fucker? Sometimes he just lacks any detailing. He's like, what? I can't control two monsters when I can't control my fucking brain cells or a t-shirt. I love this surrealist landscape they invent that's like straight out of the Steely Dan album artwork cover that then never returns. Oh, and they telefrag some people too. Awesome. Hey, it's all the guys you forgot and some extras. Just some random guys just hanging out, as you do in your fucking thong. <laughs> like, you know, in the Steely Dan artwork. To be fair, this is the first time I've seen a TV show where the villain of the week actually have a, like, payoff for each villain of the week. Like, they actually get the villain of the week back and say, Hey, that villain's a fucking prick. He never paid us. Fucking bastard. And then they actually, like, show them again, getting pissed off. And it's like, at least there's something more than they're literally a villain of the week and they're never returned upon, you know? Look at this. This is literally Stevie Dan artwork. I like that fuel cap. I don't think it's practical. Oh, you know, as you fucking do. Hey, when your mate drops your wallet, you just rob them. Fucking spy. Dick. They're totally grinding here. Shut up. She's mocking baby photos, like, and who has a baby photo? Fucking hell, look at this roast. How have they not seen it? They're too... Oh, ha ha ha, he's a baby, he probably wasn't polytrained. It's a fucking photo, how would you know? It's not like he's surrounded by shit. Yeah, if you thought that a kid show couldn't get dick shaming in, they managed to make an equivalent real easy, where they're just like, ha ha, your tail's small, because it's like a dick. Oh, a nuke went off in Chicago. Seriously, they dick shame Vinny. Or like, dick replacement shame Vinny, but like, they were adults, and it's like, oh yeah, dick shame a fucking baby. Low hanging fruit much? <laughs> like... I never understood this thing that like every cartoon, not just this, has where it's like you blow on your own thumb and that will somehow inflate you. Who invented this trope and why does it exist? Hey, 
Yeah. Also, there's no correlation between why certain people have certain accents or, like, there's no, like, hidden joke. It's literally, look, there's a dinosaur and he has a weird voice. But he has the same voice as, like, Grease Pit. Their expressions don't match what they're saying. He should look panicked, but he's not. He's just, like, looking badass. I know what'll work, shoot our guns at them. Oh, and they just have nuke lasers with no sound effect. Just boom. They didn't shoot, they shot lasers. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. That's a good joke, that's a straight up solid joke, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know. We shot him with our weird Spyro rocket laser. It makes you wonder, like, how much of a threat the main villain is if they go and ask him questions whenever there's a slightly larger threat. Who's Jimmy, sir? Is this a reference I'm supposed to get? They also show the weakness whenever the <laughs> main character backs down. Get it? He smells. <laughs> Literally every joke is, "Hey, <laughs> you're fat, you're ugly, and you smell." You're like, it's pretty fucking childish. like neck proportions for anybody because like you know throttle actually comes across as quite intimidating sometimes and a bit of a badass you know <laughs> but the buildings are changing size and like as they swing them why are they even bothering to show Vinny's static reflection in Trolls? Oh. I love the use of language in this, uh... <laughs> the use of language in Biker Mice is just so high tier that it's like, why are you saying hydrocephalic? Is he not going to finish that sentence? It's like, you can't just say boys, boys, boys. you got to say boys, boys, boys. Why are you fighting or something? You can't just leave it as boys, boys, boys. Because it just sounds like... Whatever. Again, lack of tone there. Like, you know, they're just like casually pointing out that they're going to get fucking murdered. There's no panic. Like, look who's coming to dinner. It's like... This hurts him, but a rocket does not. A rocket laser does not, but a single handgun shot does. Again, like, massive, like, what, what is the threat of this enemy? They don't, those monsters don't give a shit because she's not a mouse and like they're still moving but they stop to try and stamp on them and their bodies they're like still showing as being moved across them. How? They were walking next to each other. Instead of showing him straightening up, they just lengthened him as he stood up. Like, the number of scales on his tummy just raised. <laughs> hey, guess what? The special, the special fish in this world that just bite your ass. 
So he's been shown biting his ass, it just cuts back to him biting his ass. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll smack the back of your head and then go, <gasps> Look, that smack of your head made me see the teleporter. What? Honestly. <laughs> Who hung that sign? Her hand just went in and out of, like, size there. She looked super ripped for, like, 30 seconds there. His eyes are tiny in this shot only. Lindbergh's eyes grow bigger and smaller depending on how it wants it. This whole thing is ridiculous. <laughs> That's a quote to put on your Facebook. I'm too cool to die. I got a Nerf gun. I'm not afraid to use it. How has she, like, got no awareness of her, like, surroundings to this level that she's distracted by one Donald Trump lookalike? We can knock your building over, so we'll kick the fence next to it. Great one, guys. There's a lot of lame jokes that don't land in the original series of Biker Mice. It's a big word for Grease Pit. get out at any point. She's a very great example of how like cool or attractive characters that are supposed to be perceived as cool as attractive can't distort their face in a single frame. So very stiff in their animation. <laughs> Finny just gets roasted for this like episode by the way. Fucking roasted. How has she ever pissed you off, Limburger? How do you even know who she is? Oh, and now two monsters are dick shaming Vinny. Yeah, I feel like Vinny would probably be. Uh, fuck, fuck my life. So the weakness of these monsters is them to dick shame Vinny. That's, that's the moral of this story. If you're stuck fighting monsters, dick shame your friend. Superimpose your fucking fists and punch them. <laughs> no impact either. <laughs> fucking goons. Your house. <laughs> and they've already trashed it. Where the fuck are Vinny's handlebars? <laughs> yeah, so no biker gang ever. We won't trash this guy's place, he's had a rough day. She looks like... The chick, Charlie, just looks so, like, droid-like when she's just set dressing to stand behind Vinny. And she's always on Vinny's bike. Is that canon? Good work, asshole. Plain Jenga. <laughs> shouting the shouting shut like crashed his building. 
<laughs> oh, okay, that was fair. That was fair. Like, you are a loose brick is a good punchline to go out on. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the first few recordings I tried on this episode, it just didn't come through very well, and it, the sound was really fucked, so I'm going to try and do some recording this time. Uh, editing, I mean. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to, like, um, go on to season two, which will be totally blind.